Okay, so friends in here, checking out the room. Uh, what I like, uh, one thing I like that I saw right when we came up, uh, a lot of dogs can be on edge or like really nervous. He just walked in here and immediately started like smelling around. What is this? This is really cool. I like this stuff over here. So he's doing so good. He has what I call that puppy confidence. It's kind of like little kids, like they don't understand the consequences of things. So nothing seems as scary as it is. He has that right now. And I love puppy confidence because when a dog's confident, you can teach them anything because the fear isn't in there. Um, so I love, love that. I'm going to be working a lot with that. Good job. I'm letting him decompress for a minute, kind of check things out. I'm going to get treats as he is checking out the environment. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Oh, that got someone's attention. Do I have on the floor? Oops, I don't think you can reach up there. Watch, watch me be wrong. it on the ground and then you can decide. No? So still deciding. He's not really sure if he likes this. Um, and why this is important. Good job. Well, good boy. Good boy. Dogs are very opportunistic. Uh, they were once wild animals, and they had the trait in them to take opportunities. If they didn't, they would die. So unfortunately, so like imagine, you know, they find food on the ground, and they're like, no, I'm going to leave that because that's some other animal's food. Um, that would be impolite for me to grab that. Uh, that could potentially lead to them dying. So in order to, you know, stay alive, they have to be opportunistic. Well, as house pets, that's not really... Ready? You want to try this one? Good job. As house pets, they don't need that anymore. Good job. We're a little nervous still. You can take your time. Uh, they don't need this, but they still carry it. They still carry around this... Uh, good job. Good boy, good boy. That's such a good boy. They carry around this um, gene to... Keep them opportunistic, even though we provide everything that they need, their shelter, their water, their food, they don't have to be anymore. Uh, but try telling them that. So a puppy's life, a, a, their whole entire life, so as they, you know, turn older, they turn into these big dogs, um, we have to remember we're always competing against the environment. We're always competing against something, whether it's a smell on the ground or another dog or a sound. And if we think back to the dogs being opportunistic, in every situation a dog is in, they are going to choose the option which most benefits them. It's not maybe, it's not if, it is that way. That's how their brains are wired to work. So we kind of have to gauge every situation. Uh, go ahead, what is this? Good boy, good job. We gauge each situation, good job, very nice sit, yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. That's a very good boy. Very good. Awesome job. We have to gauge each situation and see what they want most out of that situation. Uh, do we hold the key to it? Uh, the idea is that we find a way that we are always holding the key to have the top motivator in every situation. Uh, easy one is food. Right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with him, but he's also decompressing to this new area and me as a stranger, so he's getting comfortable. So it might take him a little bit to decompress, and that's fine. Uh, we have stuff to discuss anyway, so that gives him time to warm up. But um, 
treats are usually the easiest choice to go about because dogs, you know, love food. They have to eat to survive. So a lot of times food is a good one. Well, not necessarily all the time. Um, There's some dogs who are like, mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. They're very picky, you know, with what they want. And that's totally fine because I'm a really picky eater too. So I feel that in my soul. But um, toys uh, can be uh, their highest motivator as well. They can love to play with toys. I see dogs that are obsessive over balls and they are just like, oh, oh, I love this, this is the greatest reward ever. So it doesn't necessarily have to be treats, uh, but it, we have to hold something that they love more than something else. So here I'm competing against the environment with smells and new sights and a couple new sounds because I have the windows open. But other than that, it, it's pretty mild. This is, a, good job, good boy. Good job. This is pretty mild distractions. Uh, imagine if you're competing against, yeah, you're the camera, you're good boy. You're checking that camera out, I see. Imagine if you're competing against another dog. You have to hold something of higher value than this other dog. Uh, it's hard. It's definitely something hard to do. So we will be learning a lot about his values as he gets older. We'll be assessing what he values the most and working from there. Good job. I'm going to get some toys right now to see if we want to play with some toys. Ooh, it's squeaks. Where's my other one? Oh, oh, now, now we're a little more interested, huh? Okay. So I have a handful. Very nice. Very good boy. That's so good. You like him, huh? What? This one. What? What? It moves. That's so crazy. Go get it. Go get it. What about this one? This one moves. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Dang a boy. Nice job. Really good boy. I love that a lot. I love that a lot. I do love his like personality, like how he carries himself. Uh, you know, it's even though he's unsure, he holds himself very confidently and is like, I'm gonna go check it out. I love that. You're such a brave boy. Good. Yes. Good job. Yes, 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 yes. Good boy. Well, let's get it. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Here we go. Very good. Very good. Yes. 
Good boy. Oh yes. Okay. Good. Awesome. He likey. He likey the treats. Hey, this reminds me of my house. I'm gonna break these up in half though, because we're gonna be rewarding a lot. Good boy. Oh my God. Sneeze. My allergies are killing me. Ooh. Ooh. God is a very funny personality. He gave me this love for all animals and also a very severe allergy to them as well. So uh, my day to day can be kind of rough, especially when I forget to take my allergy medicine. Like today, good, good, awesome. That was a good boy. I'm gonna break these into fourths. Cause you little body, good boy. Good. Yes. Good. Very nice. Oh, I gotta blow it. No, it's gonna squeeze it. <sighs> okay, that was a fake. No. It's coming. Sorry about that. That's something. Oh, I need to go get some Claritin. Woo. Ready, Red? I'm back. Good job, very good, awesome job. Let's go, good, good job. So right now I'm working, oh, you can't see us again. Darn it, I need a camera person. Right now we're working on our uh, down. So him laying his body down. Hey, cheater. Hey, cheater, cheater, how can you do We're working on him putting his body down, good. Approximations. I'm not waiting till he does the full thing. I'm rewarding him as he gets closer and closer. Yes, good job. So there, when he picked his butt up, you heard me say, uh-uh. 
I have a no reward marker just like I have a reward marker. My reward marker is good boy and then the treat comes. I also have a no reward marker. It means the treat's not coming. Uh, you, you need to do something else uh, to get that treat. I like to be as clear in my communication with dogs as possible. So I'm always communicating. You got it. Good boy. Ready? Good. Very nice. Good boy. Good boy. So if he picks his butt up off the ground, that's going to get the no reward marker. And I'm going to take the treats away. Good. You're almost there. Good. You got it. Good. 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 Yes. Good. Good boy. That was a really good reach. That was really good. I like that a lot. Okay, ready? Good. You got it. Good. Good. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Way to go. Really good. Uh -huh. So Buck came up. So the uh, Buck came up. Treats went away. This is his first real look into behavior consequence. Every behavior has a consequence, um, whether it be good or bad. Uh, my good, uh, behavior consequence is that you get a treat. My bad behavior consequence is that you just don't get a treat. Very easy, very simple, nothing crazy. So yeah, I don't use physical punishment. Good job, yes, very good lean. Good, 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 shoulders down, much closer to the end result. Very good, Ren, very good, Ren. Ready, good boy, you got it, good boy, good boy. You got it. Don't quit. Yes. You got it. You got it. Yes. Good job. Good job. This is super important. Another good um, comment that I forgot to make earlier too is that you always want to reward better than. If you keep rewarding at the same pace, that's all he'll ever give you. Uh, so say I kept rewarding with that one lean. If I don't ask for better the next time, he's going to keep giving me that same lean stop at that uh, point. So um, it's super important that we reward better than. I'm gonna wrap tissue really quick because my nose is like leaking. I didn't need you. You didn't even care. You didn't even care that I left you. I thought we were friends. <sighs> Holy smokes. Sorry about these noises that you're hearing. Oh, I'm legit about to go. Ask a random person on the street for some Claritin. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better now that my nose is not leaking. Can we sit? Good. And you notice there, um, just because he didn't give it to me right away, I wasn't saying sit, 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 sit. I wasn't saying it over and over. I was letting him think. Good. Come on, yes. Come on, yes. Come on, come on, come on. And what about this big piece? Good. Come on, don't quit. Don't quit. Good, good. That was a good reach. What about the whole piece? Good, good job. Good job, good, good. Very good boy. Huh? Good, and he learned, he put his butt down. He said, oh, she must not like when I left my butt up. Good, good. Huh? So I've taken away that treat. Yes, very good. I let them think it out there. Um, it's super important we let them problem solve. We let them figure things out. Good job. Super important for their development. Good. Very good. Awesome job. Good. You got it. Awesome. 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 Uh -huh. We picked our butt up. Very good, but he's learning to put his butt back down. He's made the association that he's not supposed to pick up his butt. Now he just has to figure out how he's supposed to get this cheese without picking his butt up. How do I do that? Uh -huh. How do I do that? How do I get this cheese with my butt on the ground? How do you lay down? That's it. That's the secret. Good, very nice. 
that was really nice. Very good. Come on, give me that foot. Give me that foot. Give me that foot. Come on. Yes, come on. Good. You're doing it. You're doing it. You got it. Come on. You're doing so good. You're right. You're literally right there. You are. Yes, you're so close. Come on, just put your legs down. Uh, you're so close. Good. You're so close. You're literally right there. You're so close. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. 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 You're right there. You're right there. Come on. Good. 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 Ah. Uh, good. Good. So he's figured out, yes, his butt. But he just doesn't know how to, what he should be doing uh, to get that treat without picking his butt up. He's like, I don't know how to solve this room. Good job. Good. Come on. You got it. You can do it. Good. 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 Yes. You got it. You're doing good. Yeah, good boy. That's really good. Awesome. So he's literally, all he has to do is put that leg down, one leg down, and then the next leg will follow. He's so close. We're going to take a break at this for now because uh, this is a lot of, of thinking. This is, you know, not so fun. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Good. Good. Perfect. Really good. That was really nice. I love how I said I'm going to take a break and then I go and do it again. But we're going to go into leave it. Leave it is um, a really big impulse control activity and puppies have little to none impulse control. So we're going to teach it with leave it. I have one in my right hand. I call this the poison pill. If they eat it, they die. I have all my rewards in my left hand. So I'm gonna be rewarding from my left hand. I'm gonna put my fist closed with the treatment in front of his face. He has to make the decision to um, leave the treat. Good. Good job. And I'm hoping he makes the um, association that it was his face being left that got him the treat. Good. Good boy. Good. Nice job. Good. You notice here I'm not saying anything either. You don't want to add a new behavior and a new word at the same time. You do the behavior first. Once they're doing the behavior, you make the word association. Good! It's too many things for them to learn at once. They don't speak English. They don't speak language. Good! They speak, um, well, they speak body language, but they don't speak verbally. I don't know. Is that the word? Good! Nice job. So this is the first step of a 12-step process. So I'm going to go into step two because he's doing really good. It's like exact same except my hand is on the ground. Good! He was like, is she going to open it? Good! He chose not to. Good! He goes, I don't even look at that. That means nothing to me. Good. We had perfect ones in a row, so he's ready for step three. Step three is we're adding the word association. He understands he's not supposed to go for this. So now I, oh, I got to sneeze. is killing me. It's going to be the death of me. Oh, shoot. I would love if that's the way I went. That would be the best. All right. So now um, we're ready to add that word in. So it looks a little bit like this. Or it looks a lot like this because this is what it is. Leave it. Good. So I said it well before I put my hand down. Leave it. Yes, very good. Leave it. Good, nice job. Nice job, that was a really good choice. Leave it. Good, nice job. That was a distraction, um, but I'll take it. Look at these crumbs. Look at those crumbs. Do my hiccup. Leave it. Good. Very nice. Leave it. Awesome. Awesome. He's ready for the next step. The next step is harder. Oh my nose. Oh my goodness. Not 
face is pouring out. Yes, it's pouring. This is crazy. My eyes are leaking too. If I stop breathing, guys, this is how I wanted to go. This is exactly it. Um, what was I saying now? My ADD got to me. Oh, the next step. The next step is a lot more difficult. I'm actually setting it on the ground. So it's going to look like this. I'll turn sideways so you can see. Uh, we're gonna go into recalls next, so I'll talk about what happened there in a minute. So this next step, I'm actually putting it on the ground. So it looks like this. Leave it. Good. Ooh, I have hiccups now too. What is happening to my body? I have hiccups, my eyes are leaking, my nose is leaking, this is crazy. Leave it. I think watching you have hiccups is giving me hiccups. Good job. He actually doesn't even know what's happening. Good. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's much nicer. It was gentle. Um, so I'm going to put the treat on the floor again. Leave it. Yes, good. He was like, what the heck just happened? Leave it. Yes, good, leave it there. He, that was the first time he really paid attention to it. Leave it. Yes, good, good. That was a very obvious paying attention to that. Good job. No crumbs, you're a no crumb kind of guy. Leave it. Good, good. Leave it. Very good, awesome. Awesome, so this is step four. I'm gonna go into step five. Step five, we're gonna kick in his prey drive, make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm going to drop it, so it's gonna move. Let's see if he can resist. Good, nice job. Oh, I didn't say leave it, look at me. I am failing, I get an F in my own class. In my own class that I wrote. Leave it. Uh-uh. Leave it. Good. Nice job. Leave it. Ah. Huh? Leave it. Good choice. That was a very good choice. Super good choice. Where's my leave it? Leave it. Good choice. Very nice. Very awesome. I'm gonna let him take a, a little play break. I'm gonna put some toys out for him to play with. Ready? What is this? What is this? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of discuss that a little in depth after I blow my nose. For the millionth time. I'm so over my allergies. I'm so over it. It is not fair. Um, then again, like fair. Okay. Um, leave it. We talked about um, the stages. He's on the stage where we're, you know, dropping it to get his attention there. Shoot, I was literally like, I have so much to talk about. You take a play break. Leave it. Impulse control. What was I thinking? Yeah. I can't remember right now. So that's how my, my brain is going today. Oh, yes, never mind. I'm just explaining the, the process of it. So Leave It is a three process, a three step process, but each of the three steps has the sub steps. So first is treats, then comes toys, then comes situations. So right now we're working on the treats. We're exchanging a treat for a treat. Uh, it's super important that we always exchange of something of equal or greater value. We wouldn't, uh, although all of our money is paper, if I were to show you a dollar bill versus a $500 bill, I mean, is there a $500 bill? I don't know, let's say there is. Um, if I were to show you one of those, although they're the, you know, it's the same paper, they have different values to us. Uh, if 
I'm sure dogs think it's pretty bizarre that, you know, it's just paper. Why are they so crazy over it? Well, we might think the same thing with their values system. They value things over others, and it's super important that when we're asking them to leave something difficult, that we're giving them something of equal or greater value. Um, I know I talked about values in the beginning, like why I was going through the different treats to find out what he had loved the most. I wanted to hold that uh, key motivator so that way the decisions are easy. I'm setting him up for success because he's able to make really good decisions, you know, right off the bat. Um, yeah, so we're working right now with the treats. So the treats, oh, we are on, this is step five of the 12 steps of treats. After we get through treats, we'll move on to toys, having him leave toys. Once we get past the toys, we're going to move on to situations. And the situations uh, are difficult. You know, it's difficult for me to leave situations sometimes. Uh, that would be like, I'll give an example. I don't know, he likes getting in the garbage and he's walking over by the garbage and is, you know, his head's in the garbage. Us saying leave it would be the signal to leave the situation. Turn your body around and come to me for that. But that, you know, that comes with time and that comes with practice and that's something we, you know, will work on as he gets better and better and better. We want this to become second nature to him. I want him to, you know, see a treat on the ground and be like, absolutely nothing. That means nothing to me. I'm waiting for my treat you're going to give me. So, you know, it's going to take time and practice, but, you know, everything, you know, takes time and practice. So that's no big deal. Uh, I want to go into recalls next. Recalls is the calling him back to you when you ask him to come. There's uh, very important rules to this uh, game. I don't know if game is the word I'm, I'm thinking of there. Uh, to this exercise. That is exactly the word I was thinking of. Exercise. Very important. What a boy! That's such a good boy! Good job, Ren! Good boy! Good job! That's good! Oh, hold on. Ren's scared. Anytime a dog is scared, I stop whatever I'm doing and we conquer that fear immediately. I don't let it become a sudden fear. He's scared of himself in the mirror. Come on, Ren. Very important. Uh, right now, everything I'm doing, he's so cute. Everything I'm doing with him is just basic obedience stuff right now, but um, I take a huge, uh, a behavior modification has my heart. Uh, working with a dog who feels a certain way, who has a controlled emotional uh, response to something and turning it into something else. 
Uh, fear quickly turns into reactivity, which quickly turns into aggression. It seems like a far jump, but it's not, and it happens fast and it's quick. So I'm super big on if I see a fear response in a dog, uh, I, I will stop mid-sentence and I will jar over and I'm going to prove to them that that is not scary um, if it is something that's truly not scary. I mean, I haven't really, I guess the only thing is, you know, a, if it was a, you know, vicious dog, that obviously I'm not going to say, okay, let's go see it, and then him get eaten, that, you know, is counterproductive. So, anything else, I'm stopping exactly what I'm doing, and we're going to go work on that fear. So that was a really good, I'm glad that happened here. It's a really good example. You're going to notice that happens a lot with puppies, and why that is, is because they're brand new to the world. Everything is new. Uh, I don't know what anything is. Imagine, you know, you came to Earth for the first time. You'd be like, this thing, what, what is this? Oh, what, do, what is this? Uh, and if, if there was something that looked very different, you might be scared of it. So it's super important that we show him the world. We say, look, experience this. It's not scary. See, that's awesome. That's the, the idea there. Um, I think I was talking about recalls before my ADD kicked in. Yes. Oh my goodness. I have the equivalent of a puppy brain. It like ping pongs. It's like, oh, sound, noise, bright, bright color over here. Well, wow. shiny. Um, there, again, there's my ADD. Uh, ow, you got my finger. We're going to talk about recalls. I'm focusing. I'm, I'm bringing it in. Uh, you said that, you know, sometimes we don't really come when we're called. Well, do you remember back at the beginning when I talked about... Um, Dogs being opportunists, and we're always competing against the environment. Recall is the biggest example of that. Uh, they're, choo they're making an active choice to come to us or do whatever it is they're doing. So if we have nothing to offer them, they're going to say, that's not, why would I do that? It would kind of be like if I had $5 and you had $1,000 and I said, trade, you would be stupid to trade me. That would, I would literally be like, hi, you're so dumb, I win. He goes, why? that's a stupid decision. Why would I even make that decision? So um, we have to make it worth his while. So right, this is perfect. I'm going to make sure he's on camera though. Right now he's checking something out. Oh no, now he's not checking something out. Now that I move this, he's like, oh, what is this? What is this? Here, I'll turn it this way. I'll see if I can get him excited in that mirror again. Oh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw toys. Go check that out. What is it? Good job. Go look. I'm going to let him check it out for a minute, and then I'm going to ask for that recall. Rip! Come here. Good boy. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Good boy. Hey, ready? What is it? Go get it. Go get it. Oh, this one's yours. Squeaky, squeaky. I think it squeaked. Or maybe it didn't squeak. I don't know. That's your fox. Go get it. I know I do have treats, but the idea here is I want you to go away from the treats so I can call you back to me. Oh, he found his toy. He's like, I love my toy. So here, Ren's very interested in playing with his toy. He's like, I'm busy doing stuff. So are me calling him back, I have to be cooler than that toy. Ren, come here, good boy. Nice job. Luckily, he loves my treat, so he is all about it. I'm gonna try that again, get his um, attention. One point uh, that I gotta bring up is that when you reward, timing is everything. Timing has to be perfect. You wanna reward on the decision to come to you, not him actually physically coming to you. But as soon as he picks his head and turns around and acknowledges your presence, that's when you say yes, because he made, he's making a decision in that moment. We wanna reward the decision. Uh, when we mark the behavior, we mark it with, you know, good boy. Instinctively, he's gonna come. He knows that word means a treat. So there he goes and checks it out. I'm gonna let him check it out for a little bit. Very good boy. Actually, I'm gonna, if he's, um, being confident around the mirror. I'm gonna keep let him stay there. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Awesome. Look at this ball. No? No ball? Oh there. Okay. Yes, ball. Red! Come here! Come here, Red! Good boy! Dad, good boy! Very good! So as soon as Ren picked up his head. I called him over. He responded perfectly. He's actually responded perfectly every single time. Of course you're doing amazing. I can't show the bad stuff. I can't show the troubleshooting stuff because you're doing so good. 
Um, but another rule for a recall is once you start a recall, you finish a recall. I don't care if that recall takes three seconds or three minutes. I don't care. Uh, at three seconds or three minutes, they're making a decision somewhere in that time frame. All I care is that the decision is being made. Super important, our voice stays the same. If you start off happy and peppy, which you should, you want to be cooler than, you know, distractions, come here, come here, come here. At minute three, when you're still doing it, it still needs to be, come here, come here, come here. It can, good boy. It can't be, come here, get over here. It can't be mean. Uh, it can be frustrating when they're not listening, but we have to remember how their brains work. It's not that they're being defiant. It's not they're being stubborn. It's not they're being rude or malicious. It's how their brains physically are wired. We are going against a wiring mechanism here. Uh, that is very hard to do. So we have to super reward them for when they do make those really hard decisions. Oh, you have a pee pee? Oh my goodness. You just have to pee pee so bad. Is that, oh my goodness. Let me clean this up. Okay, hey, we're gonna take a pee cleaning break right now and a treat moving break. We gotta move those treats while I clean up your pee pee's. Let me get the spray real quick. So good. Public for actually a really long time. I'm very impressed with your skills. Oops. What is this? Yes. This is scary. You can come check it out. Come on, check it out. Just a sprayer. Just a rag. No big deal. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Very good. Very good boy. That's very brave. I like that a lot. That's really awesome. Super good job. Okay, let's get a bag for these. So we were a little nervous of the sprayer that I had taken out. And he went and he checked it out. And I love that. Can you my nose one more time? Oh. Why? Why me? Why was I cursed? Okay. Where's my treats? Now that I'm done with my pity party. Oops. Whoopsies. Nope. Nope. Give this treat back. This treat back. Let's see where are we? Oh, we still we've got we've got time here. I want to take a break from that and I'm gonna go back over all this stuff that I went through. But I wanna go back to the downs now that we're uh, a little more comfortable with me. Good. 
nice job, nice job. He's like, mm, I don't like this game. Good job, you did really good. That was super good. So we're gonna stick with the sit to a down. Um, we're getting the best responses out of that. We're getting the best responses from that. Um, we're at the stage, literally his leg is right there. Like he is literally, oh, about to put that leg down. I know it, right? You don't like this one? He legit just spewed that out like, Bleh. get that garbage out of my mouth. Really? Get it. So this isn't believe it game. This isn't that game. What do you think now? You are so dramatic, I love it. What a silly boy. A silly boy. All right, let me grab another treat. Thank you. Oh, what do I have? Oh, oh, now we're interested. Now we're interested. Huh? Let's see if we can get that down, 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 or down, down. Half of this time, I feel like it's just been me opening snacks and blowing my nose. I need a body replacement. Where can we get a body replacement? I need a new one. All right. Okay, we're in. I didn't give you much room here. Good. 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 Very good point. Good. Well, you can eat the whole thing. You got it. You're doing good. Very good. Good. Come on. You can do it. You're doing good. You're doing good. Done you? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Good. Yes. You can do it. You're doing good. You're doing really good. 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 You eat like a little church mouse. I love it. Good. Good. You're doing so well with this. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. It's like right there. Like I want it so badly because it's literally we're on the verge like his front legs are shaking from like him good from him holding his body up just relax yes yes oh we, we moved our leg we moved our leg we're on the right page here we're on the right page we're so close we're so close i can taste it yes i can taste it into my mouth i can taste it yes good 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 job. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. We'll do one more. One more and I'm ending it. I'm ending it. I promise I'm quitting. Ready? What do we do? Huh? Come on. You gotta think. Sit. That's the one where you put your butt on the ground. I know I made you do a lot today, huh? Yes, very good. Way to figure that out. That's very good. That's super smart. We'll try it with my left hand. Good. Very nice. Good. Good. That was so good. Yes. Yes, come on. Oh, literally. Good. Good. Good boy. Come on, come on, good boy. Come on. You're literally doing so good, I'm gonna cry. Ah. I did say that was the last one. I could push this all day. I could push this all day, but I shouldn't. Uh, that's being very greedy of me. Ooh, okay, we have 10 minutes left. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to just review the ones we went over. So we went over leave it. So let's, we haven't done it though in a minute. We've been doing other things. So let's see if we remember that. Leave it. Yes, very good. Leave it. Ah, uh -uh. so we 
wood for it. So I took it away. So we're gonna go back here too. Leave it. Ah. Uh -huh. Leave it. Ah. Uh -huh. in trouble. That's okay. Leave it. Yes. Very good. I'm gonna end on that one. Very nice. I'm gonna get recalls. So I'm gonna have him sniff, and I'm just gonna walk around and call him to me. You can't follow me around. That defeats the purpose. That defeats it. Oh, look at your baby. Go get your baby. Look at this thing. Let's go smell this. Ooh, smell this fun. Ooh, look at this. This makes noise. Decision. Again, we gotta focus on the decision, less on the behavior of actually coming right now. <laughs> I can't not reward that. That's literally perfect behavior. Oh shoot, there is one other thing I wanted to go over. Okay, perfect. We have time. Awesome. I'm not gonna be able to. <sighs> Sorry, practice this too much with him today. Um, only because of the time. I wish I would have remembered this, but my brain is crazy. I want to talk about spatial pressure. What spatial pressure is, it's how we, um, we communicate, uh, what's the word? Like a personal bubble, uh, but it's how dogs actually do it. It's not how we do it. It's not our language. You know, we, we learn from kids. You get too close to someone's face. You know, you get pushed, you get punched. We learn that, you know, your, your siblings, I don't know if you guys got beat up, but... I sure learned personal space very quickly. Um, dogs, it's very confusing, especially puppies. We put our faces on their faces. We're like, oh, they're so cute, so cute. But then all of a sudden, there's sometimes we don't want to be close to them. Very confusing. Um, so that's why we want to use their language, something they understand. What's nice is the younger the puppy, the more that they know this because they mom uses this, siblings use this, uh, or litter mates, I guess we call those. Um, so I'll, I'll give an example of it at the door. I like using the door because dogs um, think they're going out the door as well. And is what I'm doing is I'm setting a boundary. Let's see, can I get this? The boundary is that black floor right here. And it's what I'm trying to say is I, can't, I want this much space. I need a foot and a half, two feet of space uh, when I open the door. So this is how I'm teaching it. This can be used for jumping, this can be used for biting, because that's an invasion of space. So here, I'm gonna open the door. Uh-uh. Good. I reward as soon as he backs up. Uh-uh. Good. Nice job. Very good. Awesome job, super smart boy. Uh -huh. Good. Very nice. Very nice. So that's just a little example. Let me explain to you the actions I did there. Um, number one, most important rule is that you do not use your hands. It is very easy for us to use our hands and to push dogs. Do not use your hands unless you're playing. Dogs see our hands like they see their front paws. They only use their front paws to play. So if you don't want to play and you're being serious, put your hands away. I'll be dramatic. I hold them up here. I put them behind my back. Something to let them know I'm not playing in this moment. Also, I know. Hi. Hi. You have to be in a forward moving motion. I naturally, you can see right now, I'm naturally in a backwards moving motion. It's literally how my spine is. If you're looking at this video, it's like worse. It's like extra exaggeratory. Yes, yes, yes. It's extra uh, exaggerated there. So I have to always kind of think like forward moving motion. Uh, it, it, it doesn't seem like a huge difference, but dogs read body language. It's like a whole different meaning. 
So you always have to be in a forward moving motion. The next is claiming your space. You're walking forward. You're saying, this is my space and I don't want you in it. I use it specifically at the door. Uh, I like using it at the door at people's houses too because it's a safety concern. I don't want you hit by a car. I don't, you know, want you in danger. So, um, I love that he's, he's literally licking himself in the mirror right now. That's so cute. Um, so I, I want you to stay back. So when I open the door, I can make sure it's safe for you to go out. But yes, I use this if he, you know, starts biting you. You say, hey, you're way too close to my space to be doing that. Um, jumping up. There I let him jump up on me. Um, I probably should have asked for spatial pressure there. Uh, there's always a time and a place, but there's also not a time and not a place. Uh, there's all the time in the world that you can play, wrestle, and cuddle, but say you're trying to do something that might not be the time. So we have to know how to communicate it in that moment. So I didn't, I'm sad that I, I forgot I was doing this, um, but I, I didn't get to really use that as much as I would have liked in that in, instance of spatial pressure. But uh, we'll practice it a little more and more every time and uh, he will get it. He already has it. He already knows it. It's really him just uh, choosing uh, to do it prior to me asking of it. But he did really, really good today. We went over a lot of information, like, I mean, a ton. And he did really good he, how he was able to handle all of it and process all of it, especially for a baby. It's a lot. And he did really good at the end. He was like, eh, I'm kind of done with this, which is so fine. Um, but practices, if you guys have any questions about anything you saw, anything at all, definitely let me know. Don't wait uh, for our next session to to ask me. Ask right away because behavior changes quickly, especially at this age. So we want to you know jump on top of it as soon as we can. But he did awesome, and I'm really really proud.